Kenny will always be an essential part of my life. Um, I haven't been with him for like 25 years, but we always was friends, you know? So <clears throat> who I really feel bad for is the female who just was with him, with him. and made a meal for him. You know, um, I really feel bad for her. I have a lot of empathy and sympathy for her. And it's so unfair, you know, because everybody see me and think, oh, Kenny Red, Kenny Red. You know, um, I feel real bad that Kenny Red died. We got a lot of things we were, we were trying to do. We were trying to do a movie, a lot of things. And I feel so awful that he was just took away from us like that, you know? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Hoes is the shit. Because when I was hearing about pimps and how some pimps, if you are top, I'm going to say top-notch pimp, um, you're supposed to be almost like setting a 401k up for your hoe. You put money to the side to make sure that when she done, so to say. Not every bitch. You got to treat bitches accordingly. Okay, that like would be your bottom one then. Your bottom bitch that's been down with that's you. That's the one you put something aside that when she yeah, but retire, you, even, even you if, got some money. Even if it's one that's been there after your bottom bitch. Like, the bitches that are down, it's just not about a bottom bitch. It's about the bitches that are down for you. That you've seen have been down with you when things were tough, she stayed down. Mm. When things was up, she stayed down. Mm. This bitch deserves something. I'm going to make sure this bitch got something. She didn't made me, you know, looked out for me. I didn't bought my mom a house. I didn't like how, you know, Rome was talking about. Like, mm -hmm. the bitch been down with me. And Rollo. That's why I just love Rollo the Pimp. You know what I'm saying? Because he keep it so real. Shout like, out to Rollo the Pimp. Shout out to Rollo the Pimp, man. Let me tell you something. Now, he is the type that was going to make sure his female got everything. You know what I'm saying? Because a bitch is a reflection of her man. Right. How you going to just get everything from this woman and not do anything for her? Mm -hmm. And how a bitch gonna stay around and let somebody do her like that? Because I'm not staying around for that. That's real. That's real. Yeah, I'm not staying around for that. We in this together. It's us. You know what I'm saying? We are a family. Even if I got other wife-in-laws, that bitch cold, I'm gonna put a blanket on her. Mm -hmm. That bitch wanna eat, she hungry, I'm gonna feed that bitch. Because guess why? Because she with my man. And we're paying the same man. And so she's very important. I gotta ask you this, and I don't, uh, um, and you don't have to give me too much de detail on it, but I know losing Kenny Red was a devastating loss. Like, just give me some uh, understanding of of how big of a loss it was, and how much it changed your life. Kenny will always be an essential part of my life. Um, I haven't been with him for like twenty five years, but we always was friends, you know. So, <clears throat> who I really feel bad for is the female who just was with him, with him and made a meal for him. You know, um, I really feel bad for her. I have a lot of empathy and sympathy for her. And it's so unfair, you know, because everybody see me and think, oh, Kenny Red, Kenny Red. You know, um, I feel real bad that Kenny Red died. We got a lot of things we were, we were trying to do. We were trying to do a movie, a lot of things. And I feel so awful that he was just took away from us like that, you know? What was, um, what was one of the last things that he, he said to you? Well, we did our last interview together yeah, mm -hmm. um, with Soft White Underbelly, and then I did No Jumper with the Sharp Tank, and he was so proud of that wow. interview, you know what I'm saying? So that was the last time I communicated with Kenny. Wow. And um, my uh, interview with the Sharp Tank... Um, no Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world. Yeah, yeah, you know. I've seen those guys. Shout out. Uh -huh, shout out to Sharp. They've been, they they actually been breaking up. There's some stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, Sharp, there. yeah, I'm so proud of Sharp. I've been seeing him, you know, just evolve. But um, he put the interview out August 11th, and Kenny died wow. September 6th. Wow. And I was just so happy that. He, was he got able a chance to see, to see that see interview and to get my poem that I wrote. I wrote a poem called Kenny Red. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.